Very true. And, and Steve, that's perfect segue for my next question. You and I are very fortunate to wear, work for a great company like Tal, and we're showing customers the value of catalog, right? Yep. More customers are now understanding the value of catalog. But the, the organizations that still don't get it, right? Can you talk about the value of catalog? Kind of bring that home, right? With all the other points we're mentioning. All right, well, I'll, I'll give you an analogy that's probably been beaten to death. <laughs> Maybe you've heard it a million times. Uh, so you've been to Costco? Yep. Okay, so what's your first, I'm gonna ask you, what's your first uh, a word that you can use to describe Costco when you first pull up <laughs> and you, on a Saturday? <laughs> Now, what's the first word? You know, uh, madness. I mean, I hate going there on a Saturday. Chaos. How about chaos? Right. Chaos. I right. love it. I love it. Right. So it, it's madness and chaos. So, so that's that's your data warehouse. That's a data warehouse for most companies. I mean, I'll call it data warehouse, data landscape, whatever it is. You walk in. If you imagine a company being Costco, and you're an analyst, and you're asked the question. So, like, my question was, okay. You need to go to Costco. We're having a, you know, we're having a, a party or a get together, and you need to get these things. Okay, that's similar to an analyst ask hat. Your job is to answer this question and go to the warehouse, get these different things, and come back with an answer. Okay, so if you're you're not catalog centric, you're not data centric, you're just a big, you know, Costco, right? It makes sense. Most of your customers probably like that. So you pull up. And it's madness. It's chaos. There's people pulling out. There's not watching where they're going. They're just pulling carts out. And you're trying to walk in with your list of things that you probably, you don't even remember why you're there in the first place. But you're here, here, it's madness. And you walk in and it goes from just utter chaos to ex exponentiated chaos, right? Now you're confused. Like me, you walk in and there's there's TVs right in front of you. <laughs> trying yeah. to distract you, right? And, and, and just like a data analyst, you know, you look at, you're in your Tableau or your MicroStrategy or whatever you're trying to find, there's dashboards confusing you because these dashboards don't really do what you want, but you're gonna kind of look at them because they're pretty. So you kind of go through the story trying to figure out what to do. Well, that's the same way as a, a data warehouse. You have maybe each aisle has a different expert, a steward, right, the automotive. But there's no one person at Costco that kind of knows where everything. I don't know if you ever noticed, but I'll ask the guy, like, and see, hey, can you tell me where? Uh, you know, I'm looking for, I'm looking for a bottle of water. I don't know. I'm the t I'm the TV guy. I can sell you a TV, but I don't know. It's, it's over. I think it's over in aisle 16. Like, all right. Well, I ask that guy. Right. You kind of wander around the store, and you're filling your cart up with things you really didn't need. <laughs> Right. Oh, very true you know 700 pack of towels i need that because it's only three dollars it's like it, it's like the data analyst the same way you start picking things that you think may help you solve your problem but maybe not uh so it would be great if you can have someone who's already done this before tell you exactly what items you're going to need and where to find them right wouldn't it be great if you could walk into costco with an imaginary shopping cart and it just fills everything up you need and you walk out and you're done, right? And, and better yet, if someone asks you where you got them from, you can tell them exactly what aisle and space and how much it costs, right? So we talk about something like data lineage, okay? So if I wanna bring it back, I know exactly where to go. And I can give it ratings and all that stuff. So you compare the Costco shopping experience and how long it takes you to get something. Now you're on, right? I didn't mention the line part. You're online at the end and it's 50 people, you know, everybody's got a question and nobody has a card and it's, 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 it's just aggravating. Same with data, right? At the end of your road, you may have a piece of data in your shopping cart that is privacy, that's private. And now you have to go through how many different approval processes to get to that piece of data. Now your shopping experience or your data experience is just exponentiated. So now, it's, now you're waiting for hours and days for a question that you were asked on Monday. Right, and I, I call that time spent is decision latency. How long does it take you from the time you were asked that question to the time you answered it? So in other words, from the time I pulled in the Costco to the time I got off the line, but how do I compress that time? So now you take, you've shopped on Amazon, I'm sure, just like everybody else yep. in the developed world, they right? shopped on Amazon. Compare that experience. How long does it take you Click, 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 click. I can get everything I need in five clicks. 
and it's delivered to my house. And if I can see one is number one is what items go together, right? So I can see other things that go together with the item I'm looking for. I can see where it came from. I can see ratings and crowdsourcing and how good it is, how bad it is. Should I use this? Should I not use this? I can see exactly uh, where it came from. I know exactly who manufactured. I know when it was delivered, lineage and everything. So that experience, 80% less, right? So it's yep. the same method, but that, yeah, the same method that you use for, for data analytics. It's the difference between the two. Now, they both serve a purpose. Amazon, what you don't see behind the scenes of all those different products and where they're coming from, where their warehouse and how they do it, it's kind of like Costco. They're handling that for you but you don't have to look at that. It's the same way with the data catalog. You know, behind the scenes, all that stuff might be chaotic mess, but the catalog has the superpower, right? To find, find trust and use, right? That's it, that's it's superpower, it's find trust and use, right? So to be able to see everything where it came from, exactly who else is using it, exactly to see what it's used for, and, and most importantly, where it came from, the lineage, and if you can trust it. So. I hope that that was a long, <laughs> long answer. But I mean, to me, it's it's a data catalog as Costco for data. That, that's it's that's what it does. It's Costco for data. I'm sorry. I, I, no, Steve. Let's really no, I love that. that out. Amazon for data. <laughs> it's it's no, a data catalog is Amazon for data, right? No, either way, I, I love that. To your point, the three major points: find, trust, and use. Right. Right. Period. Because organizations are wasting their time on seeing, as your point, the dashboards. That data, is it really trusted? Are they utilizing from? the right data? Where is it coming from, right? right? Yes, I agree. That value of the catalog, find, trust, and use. There you go, that's use, it, right? and that's the critical exactly. thing. That's, right. that's making the organizations you know, data-driven, to use that data. How do yeah. they you know, better sell to their customers? How do they have the cost savings? So true, I, I agree. And I think that's where, to your point is, are organizations being more proactive to you get the catalog now rather than reactive, whether it's compliance or GDPR, which catalogs do help with those scenarios too, sure. right? Oh, yeah.